Hi, I'm Cheryl Sitz, and I'm a holistic, spiritual speaker, coach, and practitioner, and I'm the founder of Journey of Possibilities. And I host all kinds of really cool holistic spiritual stuff there. We've got practitioners and articles and information, and of course, my podcast, Exploring Possibilities. And that is how I met my dear friend, Eva Marquez, last year. Hi, Cheryl. And Hi. Hello, everyone. My name is Eva Marquez, and I'm a soul healer, and I work as a life coach, healer, and I write the books connected to our galactic ancestry and, of course, to the healing of the earth. And I'm so happy that Cheryl found me mm -hmm. and that we embark on this beautiful journey together. Me too. And so I reached out to her in January. I said, hey, we had such a beautiful connection. Let's do something together. Let's collaborate. And we both agreed it would just be something small. And then our spiritual guidance started talking to us. And it became something so much bigger, centered around the harmonic convergence, which I wasn't familiar with the harmonic convergence. And you weren't either. Were you, Eva? Nope. I was not either. <laughs> much. Much. Um familiar with the topic it really started in the last december when i was channeling pleiadians and they said well let's look at the harmonic convergence do your research look what have happened before because it is time for another one and i was thinking you know of course we all remember this word the harmonic convergence but i would say as many of us do not really know into the details what did it entail and so I started to looking at it and it became really bigger than just a little small task. And, uh, but it's a beautiful task that we definitely can, can manifest. Absolutely. And a lot has happened since the original harmonic convergence. There was a great clearing and so much for doing it small. The other thing we were guided to do was spread this as far and wide as we could, because what we want to do is connect with the 144,000 soul families that are here on earth right now. And so that means listening to this with your heart, even if you don't necessarily understand what we're saying, our messages came through our heart and we knew it was time to do this. So what does this mean for you, Eva, when we talk about our guidance was to fill the crystals of the earth with light, right? All right, so I'll take a little bit step back to the harmonic conventions because that will explain everything. Perfect. So the original harmonic conventions happened on the August 16 to 17 in 1987. The Jose Arguelles, who was the main um, organizer of this event, called for the 144,000 soul dancers, literally a representation of the soul families who joined together in the first organized syn synchronic meditation all around the world. The goal is that when we connect through the heart, as a whole soul family around the world, despite our races, languages, religion, despite the places that we live or or a circumstance in that we live. That heart energy does connect together and has a tremendous power because within the heart, all the energy is connected. Energy of our human self, or call it the ego, energy of the soul, which come from our higher self, our soul family, which has our own memory of our ancestry, where we came from, and of course, our physical being. Our physical being is the most important energy in our life because that is the one who can create a catalyst. And this harmonic convergence 30 years later leads into the catalyst that we want to connect with the center of the earth and with the universal energy and really bring the energy forward of the unconditional love that we want to spread around the world. Mm. I have the vision of us standing as these human divining rods, bridging the energy of the galaxy with the energy of the earth and bringing those energies, connecting those energies and aligning them. It's beautiful. Absolutely. And to fulfill your questions, there's just too many energies coming <laughs> on to be heard. We want to look at the past 30 years and really look what have happened. The Cold War and that the communist regime and that there have been a lot of things. Of course, you know, we're coming in another some kind of the era of the chaos and we do have a power to change it through this energy. But everybody, when you're looking at back, look at the past 30 years. There's been a huge change globally and on our individuals levels as well we grew in our energy truly towards psychic or the healer in the 1987 was a big taboo it was a big like oh you maybe you know don't have it all collected in your mind now it's absolutely normal the medical industry is uh, 
utilizing the holistic medicine, the Reiki in the hospital, and it's becoming quite normal. So I do honestly believe, or really believe, right, that this have really much to do for the past 30 years what all these sun, da- sun dancers started. I really like that word. Yeah. And there's a many, many of us now that came to this earth that really awakened through this movement of the past 30 years. There's been the mass awakening. And it is our job now to bring it to that another step, sort of reload it, or look at the center of the earth as some kind of the computer that needs to upgrade. And we're receiving the energy from the universe to upgrade our computer so we can push it forward for let's say the next another 30 years or so. Absolutely. And that vibration of unconditional love, that highest frequency of unconditional love and bringing our heart and our spirit to this, that's what's going to send that light and that love that's going to raise the vibration of our planet even more. You're right. A a ton of stuff has happened in the last 30 years. And the reason we're speaking about the 30 years is that's when the original harmonic convergence was. So what we're developing now, we're going to call Harmonic Convergence 333. And I love numerology. So there's a lot of fun around these numbers, right? So it was 30 years ago. 30 is a three. And our celebration, the date that we've chosen for that is August 11th of 2018. And numerologically, that's a three. And also... I'm sorry to stop you here. (laughs) We didn't plan this. We did not plan the date. (laughs) And interject here. So in the 1987, they they um, came up with a day around, around the exceptional planet alignment. Now, I do have a friend in Oslo who look at the astrological chart and there's around the August 11 is very similar astrological planet alignment as it happened in 1987. So when they look at it with Cheryl, Cheryl was like, this is the number three. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> This is the sign. That was the sign that we were like, this is our mission of the lifetime. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you for sharing that. So the planetary alignment is ready again. And the final three of 333 is we're inviting you to meditate with us at 111. And that is a three, making it harmonic convergence 333. And if you're not into numerology, Add up the threes and you get nine. And nine is a finishing number. Nine is about completion. And we're completing one cycle, but it is not the end. Just like 2012 was not the end of the world. It was the beginning of a new world. We're coming to a completion and a new beginning again. And we want to do that with as much love and as much light as we can bring. So even if you don't understand any of this, you have a heart and you have a soul and you can bring a lot of love and you can focus light, and light is the highest vibration, pure white light. So that's all we're inviting you to do. Very simple. Yes, yes, it is. And uh, one eleven, why we picked up the eleven or number ones that many of you sing right now. It's the new beginning. It is the chance for the new beginning right now. We don't have to sit and complain what's going in the world, how we don't have a power, what is happening in the politics, what is happening in our personal life, or what is it that we wish for. We do have a power to step on that day on August 11 and create some spectacular medication. Medication. Uh, medication. We should medicate. <laughs> it is medication. <laughs> For our soul, forgive me my English. And uh, we create a meditation, we create a circle of the soul families coming together, having a picnic, having a good time, bring your guitars, bring your flutes, bring your music, bring your heart out there, and have a day. Stop for the moment and have a day that you wish to have and send that energy and your wishes of unconditional love toward the crystal grid. It goes through you into the universe and it comes back to you again and through you it goes back to the crystal grid. It looked like the number eight and and um, what's, what's the name? Yes. Yes. The, yes. the infinity sign. Infinity symbol. And we're doing it in infinity August. Symbol. So there's your eight. <laughs> and then, oh my goodness. See <laughs> We didn't really plan it. So it is the infinite symbol that's coming. And you are the creator. You are the catalyst of it. No one can do this. No Pleiadians can beam that unconditional love into the earth. 
not just to ask individuals can do it. I mean, we can do it, but if we do want to have a, a global impact and a huge change for our future, then let's get together. Let's change the frequency of this world. Yes. So our future is better. Our children have a better future. So this can be in this amazing place, not a boot camp for the star seeds come here, but this is the heaven on earth when everybody will stay a really long line until they come to the earth body. And it's like, vacation the most desired place that you go with, that you go to right not yeah. that you go through the life and you go like oh my god what i got myself into so yes absolutely so here's our invitation to you we invite you to join us on our facebook page which is going to be harmonic convergence 333 you can come on over now and post your gatherings we're inviting you to host a gathering don't worry about time zones because time we made that up the power is in the number one 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 so hosted at 1 11 your time wherever in the world you are because everything is really happening right now anyway okay so post your gatherings go to some place that brings you joy invite people that you want to share joy with bring out your instruments bring your big heart bring your love we are going to record we're in the process of recording a meditation right now that's going to be in the language of light and english you don't have to use that meditation, but you can download it from our Facebook page and take it with you. Or you can create your own meditations. Share whatever you want to about your events on that Facebook page. And we invite you to have groups all over the world in all languages. The language of love is universal. The main idea is joy and love. Absolutely, yes. And uh, as Cheryl says, create your events, post them there bring up your channelings your things that you're creating really let take the time until the august to bring the best out of you best out of your soul that you want to share with the world and share it share it through the facebook share with your friends share it through your teaching be the part of something spectacular that one day when you are up there on the other side you can say wow i was a part of that i was a sun dancer so yes. for now you are a sun dancer we are a sun dancer we are a soul family despite the places we came from despite the planets or really vast universe where we came from we all are one and we all need to learn to put our things aside and put our agendas aside and be the one so on the august 11 let's be the one and let's do this together Amen. And please share this video. Please come to our Facebook page. Please join us. And we look forward to your pictures and your sharings afterwards as well. I will tell you, though, if you post anything that's not aligned for the highest good of humanity and the planet, it will be removed. All right. And we welcome you to join us on this journey. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste.